Welcome to this video tutorial on customizing what to track with an article scoped program. By the end of this video, you'll know how to create an article scoped program, configure each available scoping method, use one or more scoping methods to define the set of pages to track, and differentiate between each program type and know the right program to select for your needs. This video will not cover how to create a PagePal ID using the official PagePal tool, create a PetScan ID using the official PetScan tool, add scoping methods to a complete program, and switch a program type to an article scoped program. Welcome again! I am Esther and in this video I will be your guide throughout the creation process of an article scoped program. The three program types are an article scoped program, a basic program, and an edit-a-thon. Each program type will be briefly described in this video to aid the selection of the right program type for your specific needs. An article scoped program tracks contribution statistics, for example, edit counts for certain articles selected by the user. If your program is focused on a specific topic area or set of articles and participants may also be editing articles that are not part of your program, then using an article scoped program will let you choose exactly which set of articles to track contributions for. For instance, a wiki project focused on improving articles within specific categories wants to precisely track edits made by its members. They will choose an article scope program to limit statistics to designated articles or categories of interest in specific themes. The basic program is the default program type. It will track participant edits within the program activity period on tracked wikis. For example, a classroom assignment to track all the edits made by students. And finally, the edit-a-thon. This program type has similar tracking as a basic program. It is intended for in-person editing events. It tracks contributions to any articles participants make. I hope these explanations clarify each concept. Now, let's fast forward to the main topic, article scoped programs. The purpose of an article scoped program is to let you specify the articles you want to track so that only edits to those articles are counted. There are four article scoping methods. These are categories, page pile, pet scan, and templates. Categories. This is an example of a category for stub articles relating to bird species, groups, or bird related articles. The PagePal method allows the dashboard to track articles collected using the PagePal tool. The set of articles in the PagePal remain constant. It also offers flexibility for monitoring curated article sets. For example, here is a PagePal of bird articles consisting of the scientific names of biological species within the taxonomical class Aves, birds, with the unique identifier 54609. PetScan is a powerful query tool that can use categories, templates, wiki links, and many other criteria to generate lists of pages. The results of a PetScan query can change over time as Wikipedia content changes. On the screen is a display from the Templates and Links tab for all the articles linked from the BIRDS portal. This query generates 856 results. Finally, templates. This allows articles to be tracked based on certain templates they contain. For example, this template is used on the top pages of all the articles tagged Wiki Project Birds on Wikipedia. Now, let's head to the dashboard. I am successfully logged in and on the My Dashboard page. On the right side of the screen are three buttons, Participate in a Campaign, Create an Independent Program, and Find a Program. I select the second button, Create an Independent Program. Note, if you're already participating in a program of programs, this is how your screen will look like. That is with these two button options, Create New Program and Clone Previous Program. From these options, I select the Create New Program button. If you haven't participated in any programs yet, this is the initial page you'll see right after selecting the Create an Independent Program button from the dashboard page. I select the article scope program option and proceed to input the necessary details of our program. The home wiki and tracked wikis affect which articles are tracked. In both inputs, you can type and select a wiki domain, but I'll leave it as it is. 
Once you're done, I click on next. I go ahead and enter the activity tracking starts and end dates of our program. That is from the 22nd February 2024 to 29th February 2024. Only edits made between the start and end dates will be tracked by the dashboard. Also note that the start and end dates are based on the local time zone of your browser. The event start and event end dates are optional and do not affect which edits are tracked. Once that's done, I click on next. On the screen, I have the four scoping methods to select from. For this video, all scoping methods will be selected to demonstrate each method's configuration process. Now, let's move on to the configuration process. On the categories page, I have three inputs. The first input is tagged categories to include. Here I enter the category I would like to track, bird stubs. The next input is tagged subcategory depth. Zero is the default value for this input, meaning only articles directly in the category I entered will be tracked. To include specific articles in subcategories, the depth value would be higher than zero, the max value being three. For example, category bird stubs includes a number of articles in depth zero, but not articles in subcategories like bird of other bird stubs stop at the depth one. But for this video, I'll leave the value at zero. The final input requires the wiki domain selection. I leave the wiki domain as it is and move to the next method. Here I have two inputs and a link to create a PagePal using a PagePal tool. The first input is tagged enter PagePal IDs or URLs. Here I'll enter the ID of the birds page pal I showed earlier. The next input requires the wiki domain entry, which I'll leave as it is and proceed to the next method. The PET scan scoping method. Here I also have two inputs and a link to create a PET scan ID using the PET scan tool. The first input is tagged enter PET scan IDs or URLs. Here I'll enter the ID of the example PET scan query pages linked from portal birds. And then I proceed to the next input that requires the wiki domain entry, which I leave as it is and proceed to the next method. Finally, the template scoping method. Here I have two inputs only. The first input is tagged templates to include, and I'll go ahead and enter wiki project birds. The next input requires the wiki domain, which I leave as it is, and click on the create my program button. Scoping methods are all set up and the article scope program is ready to go. To track individual articles by adding them as available articles, I navigate to the articles tab. I click on available articles, then I click add available articles. I type and enter the bold parrot article. Note that available and assigned articles are also counted as part of the program scope. You can use available articles to specify individual articles that you want to track that weren't in the scopes configured. Once participants have made edits to some of the tracked pages and the dashboard has processed this program's data, you see statistics about the edits, but only to articles that are part of the selected scope. After the first data update, the Articles tab will show how many articles are in each of the scoping methods. Here is a link to the page that contains a list of the resources used for this video.